Hey everybody. I have here a Kenwood Teal 922 a that just came in for repair. I just wanted to show how the guy boxed it up. Made it here in one piece. I had him remove the two 3 fiber Z tubes. And uh, place them in a separate box. So, a heavy here, padding, no room for it to move, so let me unpack it and I will shoot another video. Thanks for watching, I'll be right back. Hi everybody, okay so I took the bottom cover off this Kenwood TL 922A, uh, I noticed that one of the um, resistors has blown apart. <laughs> Between the grid and ground, so he had a arc um, within one of the tubes, one of the three five RZs. Um, band switch looks okay, so I'm gonna. I feel the other one looks okay, but I'm gonna pull the two tubes out of the boxes that he sent them in and high pot them on my high pot tester and um, see what's going on with them. Um, uh, then I'll uh, call the customer up and see how he wants to proceed. I uh, always recommend grounding the grids and also um, do some other modifications I've seen online I, which can be seen on my website ampreparegrid.com um, some of them are very um, important to uh, implement help, uh, help protect different uh, components within the amplifier so okay I'm gonna pull the tubes out and I will high pot them and I will be back. Hey everybody, I have one of the three fiber Z's here. Um, I guess he had used tubes, so it's like uh, they, uh, they aren't new. I thought he told me he had bought new tubes. But that was wrong. Um, here's the other one. See how the writing's nice and red? This is heat sensitive paint. Fades over time from Heat. That's a good indicator of how much use the tube's had or if it's been overheated. This one, the writing's very faint. Um, okay, so I'm going to test between the high pot between the plate and the grid. Bring it up to twice the rating, which is 8 kV. My high pot tester on the medium scale, so it goes up to 12 on medium, 12 kV DC. Hmm. Looks okay. I'll reverse the leads and I mean I'll reverse the polarity and test again. Okay, so I tested um again um after reversing the polarity and brought it up to 8 kV and it was fine. Now I'm testing between the grid and the cathode, one side of the cathode. Put it on the low scale, which um, goes up to 6. So I'll bring it up. See what I see? Right up to 5. I see no leakage. Seems okay. You reverse the polarity again. If I don't see anything, then I will um, check the next tube.